Welcome to my farm. Welcome to my farm. Welcome your... to my farm, Jeff. Is your farm called Miami? Welcome. Bienvenidos, uh, my farm. <laughs> so, my farm is called Farmville Farm. Wait, didn't you actually take Spanish in high school? So you should like know what the word for farm is? Uh, yes, that's how Spanish works when you're 30. All right, yeah. <laughs> you have Farmville Farm. Um, how come you don't have two different types of currency? Because <laughs> I'm bought all the way. I got a lifetime subscription. <laughs> that does not exist. <laughs> so this is Stardew Valley, obviously. I am Griff Hoffman, and, and you are... I'm Jeff Brewer. And this is us playing a video game that's really amazing. It's yes. called Stardew Valley. Uh, also, if, if you hear clicking sounds, I apologize, people. I'm trying to adjust audio mixers because Skype hates us. Yep, that's true. <laughs> it's fine, though. Uh, so, uh, another caveat. Uh, this game moves really fast, so I'm going to probably be kind of focused on actually playing here so uh, i actually noticed this in like the two seconds of play i did with this game the days are over quickly mm-hmm. like faster than i remember them being over in harvest moon although it's been a while yep so here we go i'm gonna click this and All we're right. gonna go into the 16th day of summer my first year okay oh so oh, I, so oh, just oh, oh. just for the viewers uh we know that this is like a game that is very much in the vein of harvest moon right weird all right. Um, so what I want to know is, you said this game goes very fast. Does it matter if you um, like? Do you need to be quick in everything you do? Like, can you run out of time? Is that a thing? You can. Okay. So right now I'm hitting escape, and that that pauses the game. So the time does not expand. But you can already see it's been ten minutes, and I have until midnight <sighs> to do my daily activities. Oh wow. So I am gonna hustle my little booty off and oh, yeah, water run. water the. Cr- oop oop oh dear. Run oh, at that incredibly slow. Oh, pace. this is really good. <laughs> that I right. really thought was walking. Watering, watering, <laughs> watering stuff. So you do a lot of watering because if you don't water your crops, they won't grow. They won't die, but they also won't grow. Yeah. Oh, is that so, a scarecrow? <laughs> That's adorable. Yeah, I've got uh, a couple scarecrows up because I don't want the birds eating my crab. Oh, that's oh uh, wow. Reach that's for actually it. really cool. So, yeah, so yeah. the birds can actually destroy oh, your kitty, kitty, thing? kitty, kitty. Oh, yeah. oh, she loves you. That's my cat named Stan Lee. Oh, I get it. Jen named him. She preferred yeah, Stan Jessica Lee. Jessica had to help me. Stan Lee. Jessica had oh, to help me get past pepper. the uh, the most difficult boss in this game, which is <laughs> figuring out the name of your character, the name <laughs> of your farm, and your favorite thing. <laughs> um, so behind behind this uh, uh, scarecrow, I have a uh, a watering device, uh, which you can't see. It's obscured right now. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can just do this here. Oh, get the oh crap. I just killed my crops. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there we go. All right. So you can, that's a little watering thing. It'll water anything that's um, uh, within eight tiles. Eight tiles. All right. Time's wasting, so the, Griffin. It's eight o'clock. I know. I know. I know. I got to go. I'm out of water. <laughs> I gotta fill my water up. Go, Griffin, go, 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 you're go. a failure. What are you doing with okay. your life? Worst farmer ever. This is why <laughs> so my dad wait, doesn't want. This is why my dad's not gonna leave the farm. I he watched me game, play this. I thought this game was supposed to be Hops. relaxing. Hops. Oh, it's very relaxing. The 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 point that I had to come to with this is like, I I you know had some days where they're just kind of busts or you know I I didn't do a great job with it or whatever, and it's just like you know you gotta move on. There you can't. I didn't. I didn't want to like look up stuff and like min max my farm and like figure out how to talk to the people in the town the best or anything. Like I just kind of wanted to have this be a fun, like as the moment goes experience. Yeah, totally. So I, I would recommend that to anybody who is playing it and anybody sh- who likes games should play this because it's super fun. Okay, so now we're, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. So so what I was getting at before is like if you like are pokey and you like your farm expands really slowly do you miss out on a lot of character development or does that just move at your pace basically um as far as i can tell no uh like expanding your farm and getting more crap doesn't doesn't mean that you're uh you're <laughs> wait a minute missing wait, something. wait stop mayor's shorts in quotation yeah. marks mayor lewis has has lost his purple <laughs> quote-unquote shorts he's asking you to find and return them discreetly oh my god <laughs> so you have quests here and they start out like they start out like good um 
bite-sized things where it's like, oh, plant some crops or, or yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, go to the mines or something like that. And yeah. then they escalate and, and you know, and then they're more specific. Like Pam, who is an alcoholic that lives by a, uh, lives in a trailer, uh, she wants you to bring her a pale ale. Oh, wow. Which, That's so interesting. So do, so do the characters in this game have, like, real depth to them? They certainly do, yeah. That's fascinating because my only perspective on this game is playing the first, like, ten minutes. And... Uh-huh. I found, because one of the first quests in the game is introduce yourself to the characters, and the characters, like, when you talk to them, and I thought this might be intentional, they're just like, hey, what's up? Okay, bye. Yeah, they're a little dismissive, yeah. Yes, which I think, which I was like, okay, that could be one of two things. Either that means makes Wizard happy. What? Yeah, the Wizard, he needs a tomato, so I could bring him a tomato, uh, he'll give me gold for it, and then it'll also increase my, like my social standing with him so let's look at okay, social standing here. so currently i am highest with penny i have given her no oh, gifts this week she's and a george uh i have given him no no gifts and abigail i've given her two gifts Haley, Haley, and abigail i'm i'm, I'm a big fan of those two uh, i like Haley because <laughs> she's kind of she's kind of a bee like she treats you like dirt um uh-huh. but from all I hear, like her character really opens up and expands to be something much more interesting. So, so is she I'm basically cu- Sundere? What is she Sundere? I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's like the women that are really mean and like overly hot tempered towards the males, and then later they have a soft, vulnerable side to them. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Right. But Abigail, who um, is like the daughter of the town merchant, and is kind of a shut in. I, mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of her. She she is super cool. Penny, she's the daughter of um, crap. The lady that I'm doing the quest for, Pam. Okay. Uh, uh, but whoops. And then George, he's he's in a wheelchair and he really likes leaks. And you get leaks really early in the game. So I just gave him a ton of leaks. I'm gonna go through all the trash. Because <laughs> of course, uh, like but, any good citizen. <laughs> yeah, but the thing that I love about I, I kind of chose Abigail because I, I like you know it's, she's an interesting character, uh, mm-hmm. kind of a shut in, and then and then um, here's here's her house. Like I'm at, I'm at a, a level with her where I can I can go into her room uh, and look at her crap. But will this you, is great. Will you this. find the this. mayor's quote this. unquote shorts she's, in here? She's got oh. an SNES. Oh, that's and she's got cool. a picture of Chrono. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, it is. And the first like. <laughs> So once you get to a certain like level of heart level with a certain person, you'll get like a little um, vignette with them. And with her, it was really cool because uh, she was like, "Oh, I really like playing this game, but I keep dying at it." So will you? Oh, hey, hey, Haley, come here. I'm gonna give you this flower. Oh, oh, all right, can't give. You can't give more than two gifts in a week. That'd right. be stalker. Well, I can man. talk to her. <laughs> Do you wear those clothes every day. So she's kind of rude. She's oh, I see. Kind of, I see. Kind of rude. She's um, quite the quite the quite the lady right there. She's got yeah. some looks on her. Yeah, but uh what's her name? Really attached to them. Abigail. She uh when I did my quest with or when I did the vignette with her, she she uh uh requested that I play this game co op with her, which is super fun, like because it actually allowed us to play this game co op oh, together. Wow. Like, like a game like a in the game. game. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so That's I'm fishing awesome. right now. I'm fishing. Oh, this fishing is crazy. This is fishing, some good fishing right here. The fishing is really crazy. It took me a long time to even kind of understand it. I was so angry and frustrated at fishing when I started playing it. Now, I've got a good handle on it. Um, really, really enjoying the fishing. Wait, wait, what happens to stuff that um, that doesn't fit on your hot bar? Okay, so uh, I've got a, a, an expanded oh, backpack. Oh, inventory. Okay. So I have this extra bar here, and if I get one more backpack, I'll get a full, full brick. Uh, uh, but it's a lot of money to do that, I so I, I jumped into backpack quick. That was I was going uh, I was going the the backpack uh, so tree route. Spec early backpack. Oh, you heard yeah, it here check, first. It, see those worms? See those worms? Yeah, yeah. Whack! Oh, you f- a book? A book. So I can go what? to the. I'll show you. I'll go to the library. And, this game is uh, crazy. Yeah, in the library, that's where the books go. I don't need to return them there. But anytime I find like anything interesting, like uh, an artifact or a gem or something like that, I have to bring it to the uh, library first in order for freaking weird uh, uh, Teddy Roosevelt to, to <laughs> like praise it, essentially. The impression I get with this game um, is that while when you look at the like the the scenery in the game, everything looks very simple. There's like a yep. gazillion things hidden in the scenery and like around yep. the world that are just it just seems to like have so much density to it 
Yeah. So I'm gonna donate this glass, these glass shards, to the museum. <laughs> yep. That's it. So if you donate enough stuff, they'll give you a gift, which they're pretty awesome gifts that will really help you out along in the game. Ah, okay. Uh, and I can read this thing. So yeah, it's just interesting little tips and whatnot in there. Huh. And I've got a lot of they, like they fill this row over here to the left, and I've got a lot of them. And then so I Griffin, can come over here is, and read them. Is there combat in this game as well as farming? Yeah. Would you like to go look at some combat? Uh, why, yes. Okay. So, yeah, we've seen fishing. We've seen uh, uh, the whole uh, watering crops. The thing that I didn't show you was, um, like, you buy seeds and you put them in the ground and you have to, like, hoe the ground for it to be uh, uh, soft, loamy earth. Uh, and then you can put fertilizer on them and your fertilizers will do certain things, like speed up the growth rate of it or give you a better chance for, like, a good high quality. Here's a picture of the map. Look at this map. Look at this oh, map. Holy crap. That's a huge map. Yeah. It's a little deceptive. It's actually not this big. But, okay. Uh, and then crafting is another big thing. Oh, wow. So, like, I crafted those scarecrows. I made this bee house, which is a weird thing to call a beehive. But, um, right. How much is this game like Minecraft in terms of, like, inventory looks very Minecraftian. Mm -hmm. um, um, it's honestly not a lot like Minecraft because you're not... The, the main momentum is not from crafting. Crafting is okay. much more ancillary. It looks like uh, this stuff break, or is it all? Is it unlimited durability? Uh, unlimited durability, like the okay. sword okay, that good. I have, this wooden blade. Uh, it's not going to break if I attack a bunch of crap. Okay, good. That's good. Oh, this guy's great. He's a hippie dude that lives in a tent, and he. Oh, just I likes, saw. Likes I think I saw a scene with him. He. Yeah, um, Linus is great. He's he very. Eats from the trash, right? Yeah. Here, yeah. have this hot pepper. Friends now, right? Thanks. That's uh, very okay. So you gave him a hot pepper. He ate it. Go. I'm assuming it's he a farming it. sim. You got to give yeah. gifts to everyone. That's just the you rules. do. You do. Okay, uh, so I'm going to the mines now, and <coughs> I've already made it to f level 15 of the mines. So I'll go to the here for a bit. Oh wow! Yeah, and I, I'm gonna, I, I, yeah go ahead. I'm gonna break that crap. Ooh, right. What are these? Ah! Get out uh -oh. of there! Whoa! Can you die? What happens if you die? I uh, fortunately have not been that bad at this game. <laughs> is combat really easy? Um, it, it can get overwhelming because of the enemy types. Uh, like there's a very aggressive bees or flies or something that will just jack up your crap. Uh, the biggest thing you have to worry about is just energy. Ah! Oh yeah, it wouldn't be yeah. You so run out of stamina. Yeah, yeah. That is, it, it's that combined with ooh, uh, ooh. you know your time that you're you're constantly racing against. So if it gets to like six o'clock or whatever, whenever sunset is, do you just have to go home? No, you you can stay out until midnight, and I haven't. I've pushed it till about twelve thirty, and it just I think time slows a bit at that point, and I've never went longer. But you know, it, it starts shaking, and the screen gets all kind of oh jeez, so uncomfortable. It's yeah, it, it definitely gives you the impression of like, yo, dog, you need to get home right now. So basically, you're trying to trying to do everything at once, but it feels like you kind of have to like if you want to develop one way or the other, you kind of mm -hmm. have to commit. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, so, yeah. let me show you this here. I just mind those. Um, so to my skills. So I, I did a lot of farming and foraging, like at the beginning. Obviously, the two easiest things is like mm -hmm. going and 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 picking up stuff. Uh, on the ground you yes. get points for that so yes. your axe yeah. increases you cut down trees uh farming you know y your watering can gets better so you can water more and then mining is what i'm doing now and then you know combat fishing we've seen all that stuff mm -hmm. and then you get bonuses and then also each level you go up will also like give you a new item to craft with so ah. you know I i'm so far into uh farming that i can do water retaining i can create water retaining soil um, or what? like fishing, I'm far. I'm two <laughs> levels into fishing, so I can make bait for my fishing rod that will then Gr create Griffin, a hit you, faster. Are you a, a master of baiting? No, this is no, not you're yet. Just, you're just a journeyman. Been, yeah, you're a journeyman just, baiter. I'm still just a raw boy. <laughs> <laughs> you still chafe easily ah! during during the bait preparation. Oh wow, those are some hardy uh, little slime dudes right there. Oh no, the fly! Oh god, oh, these flies are horrible. Oh wow, you're taking a lot of damage. So do, is this stamina damage you're taking right now, or what? Uh, no, I'm taking. But every time I swing my sword, I, I'm I'm I'm. It's co it's costing me stamina. Okay, but you also have. Okay, I see a health bar there too. Never mind. Yeah. Yep. There's definitely two currencies that are happening. <laughs> we'll get like any good Farmville game. You know it. Uh, 
shoot. Uh, I was going to say something that actually impressed me just from the beginning of this game. Um, it seems to have a little bit of an edge to it, uh, which I didn't quite expect. Um, I thought it'd be like really, really wholesome and heartwarming, but uh, the opening of the game was like kind of trying to be a little bit like I don't know, like you know what I'm talking about with the whole yeah. like, corporation thing. Yes. Yeah. Um, I was surprised to see them like. Ah! Talk about soulless, soul sucking corporations. I gotta get out of here. Like sarcastic humor. Yeah. So I'm um, leaving the mine right now uh, because those bees. Were, my health is totally fine, but oh, yeah. I, I'm just getting out of here because I'm not going to make it. So every five levels, you you can uh, proceed further into the mine. You've been adventuring then, for five minutes. It's time to go to sleep. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but you're, you're right. Like uh, the hey, what are you doing? What is that? Is that Abigail? Yeah. What do you? Ooh. Oh, I thought I she doesn't to like there. to go outside. She's I can't talk to her. She's just playing her flute here very aggressively. Oh wow. Do you want do you want a flower? Yeah, I'm gonna eat this right in front of her. <laughs> oh, what do you think about that? Huh? Do you, do you, do you want it, Abigail? Because you can't have it. You punk. She's maxed out on gifts. I can't give her any more gifts. Hey, weird dude. Sebastian. He doesn't like flowers. Sebastian <laughs> looks super emo. Yeah, he is. Um, so you can do stuff like go to this house and talk to the carpenter lady and she'll upgrade your house and give you, you can like get a kitchen so you can do more cooking. Uh, you can build like a, Hey dude, we're best friends now, right here. Take this. You love this. You love this crap. Have this crap. Uh, that was yeah, very thoughtful of you. I, I did not I seem very thoughtful of you. I'll be entirely honest with you. Um, my, my, the, the thing that I love about this game probably more than, like, all the mechanic sides of it is really, really fun, but mm -hmm. this old, like, community center is inhabited by little fairy spirits. Oh, wow. Uh, of course. And because when you go spirit, here, yeah. yeah, 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 when you go here, they give you essentially, like, micro quest, or I, I guess what you're getting is micro quests. These are more macro quests that happen per season, so I have, this is, like, summer... Uh, summer foraging. So I've found enough stuff and I donate them. So for winter foraging or exotic exotic foraging, like I, I find this stuff and I bring them here and instead of selling it, oh, I, I drop them in here. And then mm -hmm. when I fill that out, I get like a, a bonus. They get, they give you. And then once you once you completely uh, clean up everything here, you get you like get, the greenhouse. Yeah. Oh. Like uh, for example, here what do I have? Um, artisan. Quality crops. I don't have any of that. Uh, fall animal. Well, yeah. So every, every season, like I try and pick the plants that are the things that you need to make to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, for fish, you can fish and stuff like uh, specialty fish. Bring the specialty fish. I'm so close on my crab pot. I only need one more of these guys. I need a snail oh, wow. or something to bring it in there. That crab's adorable, uh, by the way. That's a great yeah, crab sprite right it's there. It's great. It's super good crab. <laughs> I um, love your I've hat, got, by the way, Griff. Oh, super thank you. Good. I've got. A, I've got. A, I can take it off. No, leave it on. Okay. I won that by finding all the eggs in the Easter Egg Festival. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of nighttime-y. It's 8.40. It's getting a little late. I haven't honestly done a whole lot today, but I want to show you this. Uh, this is my favorite thing. Not my favorite thing. There's a lot of favorite things with this game. Uh, this, this is a, Here's a saloon where okay. all the adults all right. hang out later, and all they right. all suck. Um <laughs> Are they just but, bad characters, or no, no, no? They're all fun. Like uh, this dude over here, he hates me. He does never. He never wants to talk to me. Yeah. Oh wow. Go away. Uh, what this an guy, asshole. I don't. He's the the blacksmith. He's afraid, you know, by the well, books. Clint. That was the worst dialogue of all time. Yep. Uh, <laughs> are you getting, he's so drunk. He doesn't even. He doesn't even have anything else to say other than give me your ore. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is this is my favorite. So I mentioned that thing with Abigail where yeah, I, yeah. I played this so. Oh, it's Journey, Journey of, of the, the Bird King. King. That was what yeah. she was playing, yeah. Yeah. And you can play this. Dude, this is awesome. Holy shit. Is this like, is this like, oh, it's so cool. Yeah, so the best thing was playing this game with this uh, NPC that was playing alongside of me while both of us were running around here shooting zombies and whatnot together. That's awesome. It was super fun. Get the thing. Oh, you got a gun or something. Ooh, you got a spread shot. Oh, dang. Dude, you suck. I do suck. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah. So you, the, the for Prairie King, you have to wait for that timer on the top to, to come all the way down to be your... Uh... Oh, no. Oh, there we go. There you go. So this seems like it's like hey. basically... Uh, huh? This seems I use like, like, like a wood log or something. The ultimate Harvest Moon like slash Animal Crossing game of all yeah, time. Yeah, it's very good. Very good. 
I'm uh, uh -oh. yeah, I'm, I'm liking what I see. This, this is yeah, just making me just, more excited. I'm gonna die here quick. Like, spend the next three days playing this game. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we we've seen enough enough of this. All right. Uh, Fair enough. Nope, I'm good. We'll just quit. Uh, yeah. So the big thing is, you know, you're you're finding stuff in the world to give to people as gifts. Like flowers are a big thing, a very easy, you know, uh, uh, always available resource that you can you can hand out and make people like you more. Uh -huh. uh, people have their their likes and dislikes. So, for example, um, uh, George, like I said, he likes leaks, and that that was like I was talking to his wife for a while, and and she's like, oh, you know, don't mind George, he's very grumpy and he doesn't like most people, but he loves leaks. So I've been uh. I give him like leaks every day, and now he adores me. <laughs> but then when yeah, I, I went to George, the dance dance the dance fun 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 <clears throat> spring dance festival, I couldn't dance with him. Oh no. Yeah. Well, because he is in a wheelchair, or no? Because I just don't think he's an option. Oh, okay. Can you have a uh, gay relationships in this? Just out of curiosity. Um, I I'm not I, I know that you can have relationships with the same sex, like Sam, oh, yeah. who's a pretty freaking sweet dude. Like he he's like a skateboarding musician <laughs> dude that likes that has a sensitive side. So I, <clears throat> I like Sam quite a bit. Uh, um. Where's that idiot? Alex is hilarious. He's just like a big dumb jock that's like, hey, uh, I really like, uh, look at these patches on my jacket. That means I'm good at football. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I like that. Uh, the other yeah, thing it you're... looks like there's a ton of charm going on here, I've got to say. Yeah. So I'm going to put a bunch of stuff in this in this thing here. All right. Um, this is to... where you sell your shit like every good Harvest Moon game? Yeah. Ancient Seed. Oh, okay. Ooh, you got another artifact? Yeah. Red Mullet. <laughs> Uh, it yeah. seems like so all, the, put all that in there. Yeah, as I was say, it seems like all the individual like little components oh. of this game are like extremely well fleshed out. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was gonna say. Like just like super well fleshed out, super fun looking and, and charming and cute. Uh -huh. uh, I'm really impressed. I got honey. I made honey. Sugar. Boop, 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 boop. So I I got that honey thing that's working uh, on something. A couple of these trees. I have taps. You can't really see it because it's dark. Oh, but I can kind of see them. Yeah. I've got taps on them right now, oh, wow. so now it's 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 eleven ten, and I'm I'm gonna just gonna kind of fish fish for a bit here. I'm not gonna catch anything. I'll catch garbage. All but right. we'll um, see what happens. Can you catch bugs in this game? You can as far as far as I've gotten to, no. You there was oh, no bug catching. Okay. But yeah, that's oh. good. That's very very <clears throat> accurate. <laughs> ah, okay, I got a soggy newspaper. Oh, <laughs> the best item in the game. Yeah, I want to so wait OP. till till midnight so you can see the the terror that oh, is yeah. midnight. By all means, when the zombies come out. Wait, really? No. Okay, That'd so you see, it's, it says it's getting late, and then the clock over here starts like jiggly wiggling. Jiggly and, wiggly. Yeah, hey, kitty. Uh, and then I have to craft these chests. I had to craft these chests to put my crap in. Okay, uh, very Minecraft, but but not not in an obnoxious way. It seems like it only takes the stuff that's that's good. What's that uh, weird ass thing that you have next to your television? It looks like a t ancient tablet or something. Oh, it's like a thing that I got from donating and a bunch of stuff at the museum. Like it's a geode or something like that. Oh wow! Uh, and I got this painting there too. It's nonsense. Just you know, garbage. Um, <laughs> quartz. All right. Well, uh, just keep that ancient sea. Hate on your own house, I guess. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I, I should go to bed. Oh, your kitty's okay. so cute. Stanley is super cute. I'm glad I chose so that. Then it, yeah, of course, of course. Oh, cool. uh, then at the other day, it tells you everything you threw in that dumpster. You know your sales on it, and then very cool. Ding! Here's the next day, and it saves at the end of the day. Uh, what happens if you quit before the end of the day? Then you'll repeat the previous day, Groundhog style. Oh, it makes me sad about what I did before starting this video. <laughs> Why? What do you mean? Oh, I just quit the game mid level. Oh. Or mid mid uh, midday, midday. Yeah. So the other th the thing, my one gripe with this game is this music that's playing right now is I love it. Like the game music, it's wonderful, but it only plays for a bit, like during the morning, and then kind of kicks in maybe sometimes towards the night. And I want this to be happening all the time. Yeah, it's super good. So uh, on this bracket, it shows me on this tab, it shows me everything that I've stuck in that in that um, dumpster to sell, and okay. these are all the fish that I've <laughs> caught. And these are all the artifacts that I found, and mm -hmm. here's the minerals I found, mm -hmm. and I haven't cooked anything yet because, you know, I, I, I don't have a kitchen. Um, I'm surprised there's so few achievements for what appears to be such an <laughs> unbelievably massive what is this? game. 
I got tomatoes. Oh, let's give it to the wizard. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, oh, is the wizard um, ready to go? Is the wizard that kid from uh, from that '80s movie about playing video games? Yeah, the wizard, nice. the movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, got these blueberries. Everything's looking good here. How's my wheat? Wheat's doing all right. Oh, we're gonna fish that. Wheat. <laughs> Yeah, so there's the tap. There's a picture. There's the tap. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Draining that maple tree down there. Ah! And it, also, okay, so check this. I can't. I can't beat this rock up. Nope, not ready yet. Can't break uh, that big stump. So it, there's there's like a, an item progression in the game too. Yeah, where, yeah, you know, yeah. If you want to get cooler shit and break stuff up, I'm sure there's different resources that pop out of it. Uh, let me check my map here. Make you sure have to right. find the uh, the hero gauntlet so you can lift up the boulders and throw them. Right? Oh yeah, or the fairy. I throw I throw my old pickaxe into the fairy's fountain and give her. A bunch <laughs> yeah, of exactly. But you make sure you don't lie about it. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, this is just a dock. Ooh, stuff. Oh, is that just a oh just, just a spice, a spice berry, berry growing wild? Yeah. Does stuff so that's come the foraging back? side of it. Is like you're you're just finding stuff out in the middle of nowhere. Does you stuff know, come, come back? Yes. yes. Okay. Because I took a few things, I picked up a few things in my world, and I was like, is that the only one time I'll ever see them? Or No, no, no. Always pick them up, because they may not last till the next day. Okay, okay. Wizard! Oh my god. <laughs> this is great. Let me drop. I don't want to give him a fancy. I don't want to give him a too fancy of a one. Is magic yeah. like a thing in this game? Um, Only in, in terms of the storytelling. So. Why stop eating hey! tomatoes? Hey, podcast going on? Uh, we're playing Stardew Valley! What the hell Stardew Valley? It's like, it's like... It's Gene. Oh crap! Eating, I ate the why tomato. Why are you eating all your tomatoes? Why is there a tomato in here? You ding dong. You're a tomato. You're, you're a tomato. All right, so now me and the wizard are best friends because I give him a tomato. Nice. I mean, that's how I meet all the people I know. Okay, go for it. <laughs> I was gonna so, say I've given every friend I've ever known a tomato. A tomato. Oh, these look. This is bad, Gene. They're very different flavors. You don't have to be lonely. <laughs> Farmers only. Farmersonly.com. <laughs> Wait, can can you please have farmersonly.com bookend this video, Griffin? Oh god, yeah, I will. <laughs> I guarantee you. So, um, is there any way that I can pay in this game to slow time down? You cannot. There's it's, no It's the exact opposite of Farmville. Space right now. That's so mm, close. It smells so nice. That's because I shaved it. That's like a toolbar almost off of a uh, Terraria. It is. Gene, that's a good point. It's very much like Terraria or Minecraft or any yeah. of those those things. Okay, yeah. I can't play this game because I can't lose that time of life, my life again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so essentially the day is just rinse repeat of all this where you're you're running around, you know, fishing, doing farming stuff, uh, gathering crap. And then there's also like there's more stuff over there, but I'm gonna quit before the end of this day so I don't lose this day's progress. Can um you make a hair well, I she uh, yep, does already, have a hoe already. I've got I've got Penny and Abigail here. That's and and Haley in my harem. Abigail looks kind of like a goth girl. Yep. <clears throat> Haley's Haley's the hottest man. I saw her. She was like, my my breath was taken away by that two D upper half of her sprite. Mm hmm. So hot. So I'm gonna end it here as I run uh, to the north to the weirdest thing in this game, All which. Right. You will only discover what it is if you find enough uh, of those little textbooks that pop out of the wormholes. Okay. So is there actual magic in this game? Is the wizard a real wizard? Uh, the wizard is a real wizard, but you're never casting spells. Um, okay, he, okay. he serves mostly as a purpose to uh, explain to you what the community center is about. Oh, okay. And the little, like, creatures that are there. And he's like, yeah, those are creatures. You can see them. They're real. Like, Wait, magic. I have, another, I have another question. Does the corporation from the beginning ever come back? Yes. Oh, oh I should great. show you that. Perfect. I'm so happy. No, I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, before we go to the bathhouse. The bathhouse <laughs> is the weirdest thing in the game. <laughs> okay. Uh, running running down here quickly. <clears throat> I wish there was just one speed faster that would, like, deplete oh, your yeah. stamina or something like that. When I started this game, I... Um, I hit the run button and my character started moving even slower and I was yeah, like, no, "Oh, that's, that's the run." <laughs> it's auto run right now, so that's that's the that's the walk speed, which is <clears throat> mind-numbingly slow. Yes, uh, biggest mistake. That's good though. I think it's a good speed. Everything in this game is just—it's perfect. Everything is done so well that I, you know, my gripes with it are middle at best. Oh, there's uh, Jojo. I knew it would come back. I freaking knew it. And here's this asshole here that's like... 
<laughs> Morris sucks. The, any, so Morris, any man who wears a bow tie. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Morris will sell you a membership for five, five stacks, and right. if you buy the membership, then it demolishes the community center. Whoa. Yeah. So you can you can crush that that certain aspect of the game by joining JoJo, but then I think something happens with JoJo where it it it, it decreases the, the the price on stuff, or you get access to more things. I'm not certain because I've never tried it. So, uh, are there other major decision points like that in the game where you can like forever alter the world state? Uh, alter the world state. Um, like by demolishing the community center or something, or something like that. <sighs> I mean, only in that you can continue to upgrade the community center, but there's and unlock certain areas here and there. Like by doing more quests with the community center and fulfilling those things, it'll open up different areas, like the sewers or this well, bone dry river to the west, what or to I, the east. What I mean more, like though, is so for JoJo, no, you no. can pay to join, and then you yeah. lock off part of the game. You can't yeah. do that with anything else. You cannot, as far okay. as I know. I mean, I'm still in year one. There's three years. So, oh, does the game oh. end after three years? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Some... does, does the rest come off after the next transition? Oh, I just want to get into this hot bath. Oh, yeah. I was hoping more would come off. So this is the thing. Is I, was, I went to this place. I'm like, what the hell is this even for? And then it says, there's a book that says, if you go to the spa, it will regenerate your energy. All right. Seems so, logical. What I hear, the strategy that I hear is once winter comes, your crop, your ability to produce crops, like, goes to nothing. You can't really mm-hmm. do much. Mm-hmm. So they say that's the good time to go and just do the mining, do hit up the mines really hard. So my okay. plan is then to bounce between the spa and the mine, rejuvenate energy, to, to break bricks and, and go through that and kill bugs and stuff, um, and, and just keep going back and forth here. That's, that's so, yeah. a pretty good strat right there. Yeah, thank you. I haven't uh, yet to implement it. When when did the ladies come in here? Um, I've never found any other person in this place. <laughs> Can I fish though? Oh God, you should try. I'm Get trying. Get the water and try. Oh, I'm all red. No, I can't. Can yeah, I eat you can't tomatoes? Do anything. Can't even eat tomatoes. No, because you're you're not wearing any clothes. Where are you going to carry? Can I eat hops? Stuff, man? We just eat these hops in here. <laughs> oh, that's the women's locker room. Oh, nice try, Griffin. Yeah, so that's that's it, man. Like Stardew Valley is is an amazing game. It's really addictive, and and not in like a shitty way where it's just like you know yeah like, yeah you know dragging you along with with um, counters and and bars and stuff like that in the like Farmville kind of mentality. But yes. every mechanic in here is really fun, uh, and and is worthwhile to engage in. And I'm it gonna end like it. this yeah. by see if it, see if I'm gonna hoof it as hard as I can. Hey, nice onesie. Uh, to to I got, so you'll get mail in your mailbox. All right. Uh, by your house, and one of the weirdest mails I got was like, "Hey, farmer, this new or uh, we opened up shop by the old building. Uh, we sell hats, and then it was signed from like the cats or mouse people or something like that." <laughs> Perfect. So I'm gonna see if I can get in to the to the to the mouse people cat place. Mouse people cat place. Yeah. I'm down. I was gonna say, um, how come we didn't find the mayor shorts, man? <laughs> Are you talking about my hat? Oh yeah, it's oh, like I was a. Talking about like the center of the, the place back there. They actually Ariel? worship nipples here, Gene. Areola Town. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can try to mine the nipple, but only delicious milk will spring forth. Mining the nipple. <laughs> Um, this game has no nipples in it because censorship. Yeah. Yeah. I think the cat house is around here. Shoot, I may have. Oh! Oh! Is it really called a cat house? It's a house that's operated. Here we go. Dilapidated house are you, are you gonna run it? by a mouse cat. Oh, it's. What is that thing? It's like slang term for like a whore house. You know it, right? Cat Good old cat, cat house. So I, I bought love, good, I old good old cap. I think in my in my real playthrough, I'm going to come back and buy the good old cap because look at this, look at that cap. Oh, that's, a cat? that's, that's the cap, cap you put on CAP. before you go out to become a Pokemon master. Like a cat I need to go fish with this hat on. <laughs> no man, that's the cap the cap you put on when you get your Pikachu. Yeah. 
All right. All right. Fishing. All right. Fishing. Yeah, it's not good right. really fish unless you have a bunch of beers in the fire somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. How do you know when you catch something? It'll, it'll, there'll be it'll, an exclamation point. It's, it's, it's thinking about it right now. Right? I'm baiting him. I'm baiting him. You're baiting him. Mount fish. Yeah. Yeah. So in this game, do you keep the little doodad in there? Is that how it works? Uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta click the mouse to to uh, keep that bar around the fish. Yeah. Or else it gets it's, away. Yeah. It's very, very sensitive and, and challenging. And I thought, I thought, I think my mouse has some pretty good lag with it. So <laughs> I've gotten used to it over time. Griffin, you're giving me yeah. so many good birthday present ideas. Rainbow trout. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. I always that, slime. Was that fart sound in game? No, it was me. Okay. Um, I can't build a boat or anything like that. I I I think it's just you know, window dressing on it. Yeah. Uh, oh, also one thing. It, oh, what's this? Ah, that's part of that broken bridge, right? Oh no, no. That is something. Probably the fairies later. can fix that. Because right? I've I've found other bridges where it's like, oh, if you if you have so much um, things like stones or wood or something, you can you can build this bridge. If I right click on this tree, I can shake the tree, and then let me let me see. Will uh, stuff fall out of it? Here's I'm cutting down this tree. Oh, you're such Fucking an tree. asshole! You're just cutting a tree in the middle of nature, man. This tree made fun of my parents. <laughs> Killed that stump. No, I can't gather anything because I got a full inventory. Okay. Well, stuff uh, like should... trees, um, will they will they grow back, Griffin? Like they will, yeah. And okay. they also drop seeds, so if you want, you can like kind of gr grow your own trees. Can you grow stuff outside of your farm, or can you only grow it on your farm? <sighs> I think you can only grow it within your farm. Okay, got it. So this stuff is all pre-generated, basically, and yes. comes back on its own time. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So that's Stardew Valley. Uh, it's an amazing game. It's, I think, maybe 20 bucks at most on Steam right now. Mm -hmm. uh, it is fantastic. Low low taxing for your um, system. Uh, you know, obviously it's not graphically intense, uh, but it is just a, a delight to play. It looks every super aspect. fun. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, so there we you, go. You sold me, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, I sold you on the game you already purchased and planned on playing. So, well, you sold me on on investing more time into it. I'm excited what I see here. So, but yes, right. I had already purchased it. <laughs> All right, cool. Yes, cool. Got it. See ya. Bye. <laughs>